Serendipity. Finding good things without looking for them. It often happens on backpacking trips. The campsites of Yosemite were booked. We had to go elsewhere and settled on the Ansel Adams Wilderness. It was tough going. We even lost our way. Yet despite thinking we were missing out, what we really got was unexpected grandeur. And an adventure we'll remember for the rest of our lives. All right, day one, Inyo National Forest. Getting a late start. It's been a uh, marathon of a day. Got up at 3 a.m. Eastern time. And um, didn't get to the trail till uh, a little before 8 p.m. local time. Uh, we're gonna be ready for some sleep. With the rising sun, we could finally take in our surroundings. Vertiginous walls of rock, Wildflowers ringing glacial lakes, bordered by willow and pine. And a steep trail through it all. First hailstorm of the trip, hopefully the last. The rain has seemed to pass, we are warming up. Life is good. weather changes so dang fast. Just an hour ago we were hovering under some pines to get out of the rain and just shivering. And now we are getting beaten down by the sun and some of these same little pine groves look like a good place to maybe grab some shade. It's like they say around here if you don't like the weather just wait 10 minutes. As the clouds dissipated, Candace mentioned how happy her heart was. I couldn't have agreed more. Being surrounded by high peaks, draped by an enormous sky, elevated our sense of gratitude. So our plan originally was to uh, get a site in Yosemite. But little did I know, those sites book up pretty quick, months and months in advance. So we were left having to scramble and got a permit for Yosemite's next door neighbor, Inyo National Forest. At the pass, we took a wrong turn and unexpectedly stumbled upon the remnants of a 140-year-old prospecting camp.
Very happy to be up and over the pass. We were sucking some wind. That was a tough one. That was a tough climb. Yeah, it really was. With the crossing of each pass, a new scene was revealed to us. A limitless expanse of valley and mountain, with a palette of earth tones that seemed to undulate as the shadows waved over them. All right, we are off the scree, finally. That was a long haul over some loose rocks. Now we're walking through a meadow, a lot easier on the feet. Sometimes you have to pass up a beautiful place to stay on itinerary. This overlooked national forest was full of surprises, with each day bringing prettier landscapes than the last. And, unlike Yosemite, we virtually had it to ourselves. Well, it's day three in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Candace and I dropped our heavy gear at a little makeshift campsite about a mile back, and we are fast packing on an out and back trip to Banner Peak. This is a stunning mountain, one that I've seen in many pictures. Um, the PCT runs right by it. It's just a gorgeous peak, and been real excited to see this thing in person. Another day, another rainstorm.
Big climbs are generally rewarded with long descents. We dropped several thousand feet in elevation, briefly passing a summer resort on the edge of the wilderness before ascending through sagebrush to our final night's campsite. Well, it's the beginning of our fourth morning and uh, we pushed it a little further, actually a lot further yesterday than we had planned so that our final day would be a little shorter. Um, but unfortunately, when we got up to this big plateau, there was no water. The spring that's on the map was not there or was dried up and a couple of riverbeds were dry as well. But we do see a definite river on the map about three, four miles down trail, so we're gonna, we're gonna beeline for that water. We had to leave the trail a little ways back, cross the river, and now we're heading around a, a prominence on the other side of the river, which will hopefully lead us across the meadow and to the Forest Service Road and ultimately our car. Sometimes you gotta get creative to make a loop. We did it. Serendipity, finding something special when you're not looking for it. It often happens on backpacking trips. It can even happen in everyday life.